going to show you how to download a folio from a Canvas page and then add it to your personal OneDrive account so that you can work on it online. Uh, I'll also show you how to share it with a group so that a group of you can work on it from your OneDrive folder. So first of all we need to go to the folio. And in this course we can go to, there's a folio template saved here. I'm going to click on that button there, the folio template, that's where I know that it's saved and it will automatically open it up. Now this is in a shared OneDrive folder which means that as a student you won't have access to edit it. We need to save it into our own. So I'll come up here and look for the little three dots in the corner. If I click on that and then hit download, uh, it's now downloaded and I can see it down here in the bottom of my screen. The next thing I want to do is go back to the home page of that course. On the home page of every secondary course you should have the personal OneDrive button in your top six there. If it isn't there, please ask your teacher to add it to there. If I click on here, that'll take me to my personal OneDrive folder. I'm going to open that OneDrive folder up. And in the 2018 folder, I'm just going to now open, there's the file there that I downloaded a moment ago. Left click and drag that into my OneDrive folder. It now exists there in that OneDrive folder so I can open it up and work on it in my OneDrive account. Now you'll notice I have the edit document option up here. So I can click on that and go to edit in browser. I can now edit this one and it's stored in my OneDrive account. Now if I'm working in a group situation and I want to share this folio with other people so we can all work on it at the same time, uh, probably the easiest way to do that is to hit refresh and you'll notice it's not an editable document anymore. Now if I go to share, it gives me the option of entering the email address of anybody in my group. It's probably best to pick people in New South Wales Department. That means it's not available to anyone to open and, and edit, only the people that are in the Department of Education. You also need to click allow editing down here and hit apply. Once we've hit apply, we can enter the email address of the students that we want to share it with. That can be one through to as many as you'd like. And then we hit send. When I hit send, they'll receive an email notifying them that they can now share that document. They can open that document from that email. It'll also appear in their shared folders in OneDrive. Uh, another way to share it is you could just copy a link. If I copy that link now, I could email that to everybody in my group. Now if I wanted to upload that folio and submit it as an assignment in Canvas, if I go back to the Canvas course, go to Assignments, find the task that I want to submit. Up in the right hand corner here we'll see Submit Assignment. And in this section here we've got a number of options. We can either add a file from our local computer, so if I was to do that one, it gives me the option of choosing a file that's stored on my computer somewhere or I can upload a file from my Google Drive account. I can select a file from a Dropbox account, Google Drive, um, Office 365 or a variety of other sources. In this instance I'm going to choose Office 365. And because it's the first time I've submitted an assignment from this account, I do need to log in to Office 365. You only need to do that once though. It'll take a moment to load, but once it does, all of my Office 365 files appear in here. I just need to now go and find where I saved that file. Here. There it is. Tick the box there and hit attach file. That takes the folio exactly as it was when I hit submit. So any changes I make to that folio after I've hit submit won't be shown to the marker when they go to market. Now all I need to do is hit submit assignment after ensuring that I've read the rubric and made sure that I've got as many points as I possibly can for the assignment. I'm happy with that one so I'll hit submit assignment and done.